Welcome everybody. Uh, today uh, we will talk with Dr. Baris Checker. I introduce him. Um, he invited me today to make this video for all the patients and for all the people that are interested in rhinoplasty. Uh, we will focus on uh, preservation rhinoplasty. Uh, we know, uh, me and Baris know each other since many years, almost 10 years. I was so lucky to visit him in Istanbul and um, from that moment I became really uh, focused on rhinoplasty and, um, and I follow him and his concept to develop and make always better our results. So we start to study um, and all the anatomy and thanks to this anatomy concept now we we started to understand more and more what we uh, do um, in preservation rhinoplasty, how, how to correct many things that in the past were very difficult to correct. So thank you, Dr. Barish, for your invitation. Valerio, thank you very much. I say Valerio here, but we uh, call each other brother. We met 10 years ago when uh, he was just finished residency or he was a plastic surgery resident. I was and he, 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 he came to Istanbul to, to see closed rhinoplasty. And the same day we met, I said, let's go to the dinner to my house because our energy is very, very similar. We are Mediterranean and uh, smiling faces. So our brothership started. So I taught Valerio closed rhinoplasty, especially uh, tip surgery. And after, after six, seven years later, uh, after seven, six years, he taught me dorsal preservation technique. <laughs> I show him first high septa strip osteocartilaginous technique. He showed me uh, low septa strip osteocartilaginous techniques. And he had many things, many small details and named SPQR, and it became very, very popular. So I, I want to listen to him. What is SPQR? <laughs> okay, thank you. So basically, yes, um, in the past, we were having an, any, uh, many Congress during the year, and we were talking a lot about uh, um, high septal strip uh, technique. I want to explain to the to the patient what it is. So basically, uh, this is the nose. You can see this is a model. And if we cut the face, the skull in, in on the midline, we can see the septum. Okay. So basically, dorsal preservation means that we don't remove this part. So we save, we preserve the dorsum, and we impact, we reduce the, the dorsum, the hump. And there are many ways to do it. You can remove this part of the septum, which is the high septal strip. You can remove the middle part, or you can remove at, at the level of the uh, base of the septum. Okay. So uh, we talked a lot about it um, with Rolin Daniel, and he helped me to develop this technique, <coughs> which basically uh, takes. Uh, the idea from one surgeon that was very famous in the past, Dr. Kotol, but we improved his technique and we made possible to um, make beautiful, beautiful results. Uh, how it works? Valerio, so you talk about the project, so I have the project, also your chapter, give me 30 seconds. So here the Preservation rhinoplasty book. Oh, sorry, it's, it's mirror effect. So the director is Roland Daniel, as you said. Peter Palazzi is responsible about uh, anatomy. Eve Saban is responsible about the dorsal preservation. And I am responsible about the tip surgery. And here, Valerio's chapter. Yes, SPQR technique. Here and please go on with that toy or model, and then please show your three D animation. Okay, so basically, um, what we do, 
uh, we um, use the septum, which is made by two bones, perpendicular plate, bomber, and one cartilage, which is called quadrangular cartilage. And we are able to change the shape of the dorsum uh, by moving this cartilage, okay? So this hollow has to correct very difficult septal deviations, which usually are at the level of the bones. And um, in this way, we can have very beautiful results because um, we preserve the nature. We preserve what, the, uh, what, what is made by nature because it's possible to have, to, to reconstruct a beautiful dorsum but it's much easier to preserve it, okay? So that's why we uh, call it SPQR, means Simplified Preservation Quick Rhinoplasty. Um, simplified because uh, when there is a very difficult uh, septal deviation in the past, uh, we were using a technique uh, which was developed by a very famous surgeon in Germany, um, Dr. Gubish, because he was uh, taking all the septum out, fixing the, the deviation and putting back inside the septum. But we do, as you said many times, intracorporeal septoplasty. And in this way, we can make an easier surgery. Uh, we can fix uh, easier, so it's better for the surgeon and it's better for the patient. And um, and what is very important is that we can preserve the dorsal aesthetic lines. And we understood why the hump developed and we tried to bring that nose to the past as it was before. So uh -huh. it's, it's, I think it's a big uh, step up in our philosophy, in our approach. So that's what I want to say is that we can bring a nose how it was before, but to do it, we have to understand why this is happening. All right. So do you have the video now? You can show okay. how the nose broke it and how do you fix it? Okay. So we want to show you what happens. That imagine that there is a trauma. We don't know when, but for example, let's think about a trauma from a ball and the ball hit the nose and the energy transferred to the septum and as i show you before there is a, a connection between cartilage and bones and it, so the, the the septum starts after this trauma to grow and the the, the growing effect of the septum uh, as uh, um, in, in uh, cause the development also of the hump. And not only the hump, but all the nose change. So we can have uh, a deviation of the dorsum, we can have uh, the tip growing. And, and as you see here, you can see that the cartilage of the tip become round and also the other cartilage, like the upper lateral cartilage, which is the, the cartilage of the dorsum, goes under the cartilage of the tip. And this is why we see in many patients, there is a bulbosity of the tip. And here you can see what happens. The upper lateral goes under the uh, lower lateral cartilage. So basically what we want to do with the surgery is to bring this nose back how it was before the trauma, okay? So here you can see some points which are very important for all the colleagues because this video was made for congresses, but it's useful also for patients to understand. So we do this kind of septoplasty that we call Zwingin door. We release the cartilage from his bony attachments. Then we also release the upper lateral cartilage from the bone as you see, this is what we call ballerina, ballerina maneuver. And sometimes we can make these mosaic osteotomies. This is not for all the patients. This is just an example. And then we do 
banana osteotomies, which is something that was developed by Dr. Checker. And, and this helped to change the shape of the dorsum. We rotate this cartilage, and as you can see, the shape change, but also we are able to change the, um, sh uh, the dimension of the nose. The, so in this way, we are able to make very beautiful result without any, um, uh, with, with, without any distortion of the anatomy. All right. It's very good animation. And thank you for preparing and thank you for helping